So it's January 2022. Um, we're here at the Citizens Theatre site. We're in the middle of the redevelopment project at the moment. So the building's kind of half built behind us. Today we're lifting the fly tower up on top of the stage house, which is a real milestone for the project. But that's the main piece of structure that will fly all of the scenery in the new building. So when you see everything, uh, all of the, the back cloths and the scenery and things fly in and out during the shows. If we were doing a production of Peter Pan, for example, you would uh, construct within the fly tower your flying tracks. And people at the sides of the stage would be pulling ropes and wires in order to allow the characters to fly around on stage. It's a pretty big undertaking um, and I think there's been a lot of um, chat with the structural engineers and the temporary works guys doing an awful lot of planning to make sure it goes properly. It's the biggest crane that most of the people on this project have ever worked with. Um, so it's a 500 tonne capacity crane. The actual structure itself is nearly 70 tonnes, so it takes a 500 tonne crane to be able to lift that right the way over the top. Where we are in the car park, it's got to stretch right over the new extension and be able to drop it into place. There's always been a limit on the, the size and scale of the shows that we're able to put on at the Citizens. Um, and some of the bigger companies like Headlong and, and things like that, quite often they've had to leave bits of set out um, because we've not been able to lift them. Or getting shows on has been incredibly time consuming, whereas now that sort of work should take a couple of hours. There was a kind of atmosphere that I think was connected to the history of the building and, and you know we were ultimately we always said that we needed to retain retain that charm but actually create a building that was fit for purpose and, and, and was healthy and, and safe. It's all very well and, and romantic to go well I'll miss that side of it but actually ultimately it, it was not practical and the building was falling apart <laughs> and falling down, so that's why we had to do this. Oh, I'm so excited about that moment when, when you get to take sort of participants from learning, the learning groups back into the building. We talk about it every week. Once we get all our stuff back in, yeah. creative people back in, and all the activity happening again, I think that's when it'll become the sense again. Yeah.